Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. I have a really special design for you guys today, one that I think you all are really going to like. I've decided it's time for some super long and artistic nails, which I will be doing today on my own nails. I've ordered some long nail tips online and they have finally arrived. In fact, these nail tips are even longer than I was expecting, so this will be interesting. I cannot wait to put these nail tips to the test, so without any further delay, let's get started. With my nail drill using medium abrasion, I'm taking down the prior product. All of this dry cuticle must be cleaned up. This way we can apply the product as close as possible by the cuticle and a no lifting will occur. Remember, cleanup is key. And now from all of these bags to find the proper sizes for my nails. I'm checking each nail tip and making sure that the nail tip covers both sides of my nail. I have found all of the proper sizes, so now it's time to prep my nails. I tried to cure these nail tips underneath the lamp, but there wasn't enough room for both of my hands, as I did need to hold the end of the tip, they're so long. Therefore, I came up with this, which did just the trick. These handy little UV flashlights can be found on Amazon. They work great and are perfect for situations like today's. I will leave a link for this in the description box below. Here they are, all nice and secure and ready for their coating. First, I will need to take down those lifted corners with my nail gel, and then buff the tips for proper adhesion of the gel. I'm also snipping a little bit off the nail tip as there are some numbers and sizes marked on the very tip. The possibilities with these long nail tips is endless, but today we're starting off with just a milky builder gel. 
I'm applying most of the gel to the area where my natural nail plate is. I want to keep the tip semi-transparent, so I'm bringing the gel out to the tip, but focusing the gel toward the lower half of my nail. The nail plate area also needs to be nicely strengthened in order to hold all of this length. I've let everything cure underneath the lamp, and now it's time to bath them. And now we can continue to our design. I'm starting off with a black gel paint. Even though the lengths are completely different, I still want the colors to match the nails on my right hand. So with a very thin brush and a black gel paint, I'm creating a precise line along the free edge. And I couldn't finish this set without some crystals. So I'm applying a rather large bead of a clear poly gel and then carefully bringing it closer to the tip of my nail with an orange stick. All of this area will be covered in beautiful glistening crystals. As for my pinky nail, I decided to apply a gorgeous galaxy chrome powder. The chrome powder didn't show up like I wanted it to though, so I'm coating this entire nail in the same black gel paint, and then going over everything in the chrome powder. And now to finish everything off in a matte top coat. And here they are. I haven't had my nails this long in quite a while, so we'll see how I do and how long they last. I'm so happy with how they turned out. And what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you liked today's video, then let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And until next time.